What's the reason you've given yourself why you can't be successful and you can't be better? Let me tell you something I've learned. It's way easier to blame someone else than to get honest with yourself. What's the reason? What, have, what excuse have you bought into? What excuse have you believed that's not allowing you to live the life God's called you to live? I gotta have the courage to stop making excuses. I know a lot of our young people are overcoming disabilities and I meet a lot of your children who struggle with ADHD, ADD, and are dyslexic. Let me tell you something. It's just something that you have to overcome, but God will use it to make you better. And let me tell you something, most Americans don't have this kind of courage. I have to have the courage to stop making excuses. You don't have time. You're too busy. Sure you are. That's a lie. You have to accept that all your excuses are lies. That you tell yourself the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. Recognize the excuses are not valid. They're conjured up. They're fabricated. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. The truth. The truth will set you free. See, a lot of people never live their dreams. A lot of people never do the things they want to do. A lot of people stay on jobs where they're miserable. I read an article called, Is Your Job Making You Sick? Many of us choose an active living death. Many of us are walking dead. The first thing you got to do in order for change to take place in your life is you got to have a desire to change. The second thing that you got to do if you want change in your life, you got to stop making excuses. Because an excuse will stop change. Are you hiding behind your veil of excuses, noticing that you're still the same? Do you continue to come up with excuses that continue to stop change? Because that's what excuses do. Excuses guarantee failure. Why? Because excuses won't let you enter into change. An excuse is an enemy to change. And we make a lot of them. An excuse is an enemy to change. Excuses are nails used to build a house of failure. It's going to fail. Let me give you a definition of the word excuse. An excuse is me removing myself from the path of blame. In other words, anytime I sense that blame is coming towards me, I've got to come up with a reason or an explanation to remove myself out of that path so it can hit somebody else. I'm not willing to stand the past and accept responsibility for that. And what you're really saying is, I'm making an excuse because I ain't ready to change. And I'll continue to give you excuse after excuse after excuse because I'm not ready to make the change. Me moving myself out of the path of blame. It is so easy to blame it on somebody else. To release the power to change. We must stop making excuses or the power of change is stuck. It's stranded. Can there still be legitimate reasons? Yes, there can. And for me, the difference, the line between an excuse and a reason is an excuse is when you blame something that you could have controlled. And a reason is something that you have absolutely no control over whatsoever. So don't believe the lies, believe the truth. And the truth is you have time. You have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Listen to the truth. Then live the truth and go out and get it.